Hey guys, it's Maria K, aka No Guilt Girl, and I'm here to show you another No Guilt recipe. So, I don't know about you, but I love a good oatmeal cookie. Whether it has chocolate chips, raisins and cinnamon, or that delicious vanilla frosting, it's all super good to me. But we all know that like most cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies, especially the ones with the frosting on them, aren't too waistline friendly. But good news is, is I'm going to show you guys how to make something that tastes just as good as a frosted oatmeal cookie using a simple yet healthy ingredient. None other but instant oatmeal. So let's get started. So here I have half a cup of the dry instant oatmeal cooked in one cup of water in the microwave. Now guys, we're totally going to transform this plain bowl of oatmeal. Um, here I have a vanilla casein blend protein, and it's important that you use a casein blend rather than a whey isolate because the whey isolates have a tendency to not be as thick and creamy. Um, I got this at Vitamin Shop. You can get it probably at GNC or any supplement store close to you. I have half a scoop right here. I'm going to stick this into the oatmeal, and I'm going to give it a good stir. Now, you might notice that the... Um, the protein kind of chunks up in the oatmeal and you might need no other than the Blue Diamond Unsweetened Almond Breeze, my favorite, to kind of help it dissolve better into the oatmeal. And it adds a super nice creaminess too. So we're just gonna keep stirring that until all the powder is dissolved. Okay, now for some reason, and guys, it might be magic, but when you add some almond butter to this recipe, it really gives it that oatmeal cookie taste. It, I don't know why. Like I said, it's, it's a mystery, but I just recommend it highly. So I'm going to add about half a tablespoon right in there. I'm going to give that a good stir. Of course, what would an oatmeal raisin cookie be without the cinnamon. And what gives it that super sweet vanilla frosted flavor? Vanilla creme stevia drops. Now, I only need a few drops of this, but I would recommend you start off with that and then kind of add, or you can take away the sweetness if you want to add more milk, if you added too much. It's a super fixable kind of thing if you make it too sweet. So we're just going to stir that in there. And guys, I, I like it just like this. I don't even need to add anything at this point. Um, but if you are more of an oatmeal raisin fan, feel free to add raisins. And if you're in a decadent mood, do not be afraid to add some dark chocolate shavings. So good. And also, if you're looking for more of a pudding texture, you can leave this in the fridge for a few hours. and. If you're looking for that warm cookie sensation, eat it straight out of the microwave. Again, my name is No Guilt Girl, and thank you for sticking with me for another No Guilt recipe, and I'll catch you next time. Now I'm here, don't say it's too late to try the rules here, and check your vital signs now. I'm here, don't say it's too late to try the rules